Well, if your car's ever broken down, you know that frustrating feeling of being stranded. The bitter cold is causing a spike in calls to road service workers. Angela Ingram joins us now with how these cold temperatures could affect your vehicle. Angela. Well, Rob, when you turn your engine, you expect that your engine will come on, that your vehicle will run properly. But this is the time of year when batteries die even faster. Roadside workers are saying they are seeing an uptick in phone calls to them for service. They are getting to those stranded drivers as quickly as possible. <clears throat> yes, this is uh, Steve with AAA. It's one of the more comforting things that a stranded driver can hear. Help is on the way. Okay, how long is it to be? About 20 to 25 minutes. I'm uh, en right. route to you now. This is one of the busiest times of the year for Steve Roberts. He works for the AAA, concentrating mainly on vehicle batteries. This truck has 30 of them. On it. The plummeting temperatures are resulting in a lot of calls for service. The AAA says there have been roughly 2,000 calls since Friday's winter storm. Just with the uh, extreme cold, uh, having so many calls is the main challenge. The average battery lasts between three and five years. A battery is 35% weaker at zero degrees. And this winter, we've seen plenty of days with a low of zero and even colder. Let's say the uh, battery is getting to be three, you know, four, however many years old. Um, if it's starting to get weak, any extreme temperature, you can have the real hot or the real cold like this. It just helps it go the rest of the way out. Robert suggests winterizing your vehicle with a shop you trust to prevent getting stuck. We'll check your fluids. Uh, they'll run a test on your battery. And if you just want to get the battery checked, we come out and we can do that. You don't have to be stranded to use AAA. And roadside technicians are also encouraging people to check their tire pressure more often. They say in the extreme cold temperatures, that tire pressure will drop, and a lot of people see issues with that as well. Reporting live tonight from Mount Auburn, Angela Ingram, Local 12 News. Rob, back to you. Angela, thanks very much.